Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021. So I hope you well, Scorpio. And thank you for all the well wishes that have been sent. I did injure my back a couple, just over a couple of weeks ago now. Um, did take a few days off and it's definitely improved, but obviously still a bit of a way to go so it's just a need to be patient I think which is probably not one of my strongest points Scorpio <laughs> okay so what do we have for Scorpio please angels spirits guides message for Scorpio for the week what does Scorpio need to hear message for Scorpio thank you oh okay a few cards there Scorpio but let's do this so I have finding freedom talent and new beginnings so I'll have a look at those cards we have finding freedom I mean it's almost kind of like lifting from imaginary cage there you can see it's like a ghost cage it's not really there it can be of our own making so maybe that's the element here that that's included in this reading we have talent know your talent and it feels to open new doors I see new doors opening there with the new beginnings lovely energy there Scorpio okay what do we have for Scorpio please angel spirits guides message for our lovely Scorpios thank you for the week 15th to the 21st of February 2020 yeah butterfly energy we have emerging emerging in your own power emerging in your own sense of self emerging in your own um, light it definitely feels for some of you maybe you've been going through a process of emerging okay so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card, as you all know by now, is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, Scorpio. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, as always. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio. 15th to the 21st of February 2021. Message for Scorpio, thank you. Okay. Okay, so I have two cards there. Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. That is your challenge. The star card of Aquarius is advice from spirit. And we have the eight of pentacles there, Scorpio. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, please. Angel Spirits Guide to the Scorpio, 15th to the 21st of February 2021. What do we have for Scorpio? Message for Scorpio. Message for Scorpio, please, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Oh, we've got the star again with the six of wands. Nice energy, Scorpio. Uh, the tower. I like it with the star energy, the tower, I have to say. One comes after the other. And we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. So Scorpio, it feels in this instance there is some kind of new beginning coming your way. 
and it's to do with some kind of talent so it feels like there's a commercial element to this i have to say in terms of maybe money career finances using your talents abilities experience knowledge wisdom you know what you're naturally gifted at it's very beautiful energy um to, to liberate yourself from some kind of i'm definitely feeling this kind of cage um barrier obstacle yeah and we have finding emerging so the message is with the star which is a dominating energy here the star is a card of hope new hope it's a card of have faith it's a card of optimism you're on the right path don't give up you know it's that kind of energy it's also a card of divine wish fulfillment divine blessings are being given to you uh, this will be a sense of renewal sense of self you know finding your purpose the way forward your direction the vision um, towards how you need to move forward and it definitely feels for some of you you're on the right path what are you on the right path for? Well, you're, you're on the right path for some kind of achievement, victory, recognition. Um, definitely this energy. The Six of Wands comes, is a victory card, which is by, by your action, by being in your power, you allow yourself to put a difficult situation behind you. You overcome it. You overcome the challenge or obstacle that you're facing. And it feels there is a message here. If you're losing hope or faith in doing that, Scorpio, stay in your power. Keep going because you will overcome that which you, you face. You know, you will find the, way, find the way forward. It feels like you're going through it at the moment, but you will come through the other side of this situation victoriously. A sense of achievement, accomplishment. yeah and you know the page of cups the knight of pentacles i mean the knight of pentacles can be the knights can bring change so the knight of pentacles can be an offer an opportunity i mean it is very good in terms of money career um you know it's it's an energy of getting back on track in terms of money career can be to do with contracts new client wins new business um, job offers, you know, business opportunities, that kind of energy that bring change. The Page of Cups is, it can be a card of healing, getting back on track. So overcoming some kind of obstacle and where you're losing faith to, to do that, the message is that you will get back on track. Don't lose hope. And that's what you're being told, even in the challenge position. Don't lose hope. That which is opposing you right now, the obstacle, you will come through the other side of it. You will get back on track. The Page of Cups can be to do with love, romance relationships. It can be to do with, I mean, this can be to do with an offer of love. It can be to do with peace offerings. It can be to do with creative opportunities as well. So very good in terms of money career. The page signifies things beginning to look up. So, you know, it feels in this kind of energy, whether it's to do with relationships or money and career, things, even though you might not feel it right now, things will start to look up. And the message is just keep doing what you're doing. You are on the right path. Don't doubt that you're on the right path. Because the tower is a card of change, some kind of life changing event. Yeah. Now, it is a card of as soon as that tower is tested by the universe, it comes crumbling down. It wasn't built to stand the test of time. It, weakness is found in the structure. And it's raised to the ground, but it's so that you can build a new tower. We build many towers in our lives. We tear many towers down. It's all about evolution. But, you know, the tower is an act of love from the universe to realign you to the path that you need to be on as well. So it feels very beautiful here, Scorpio, that you are being realigned in this energy, aligned to the path that you need to be on. And what is this? This had to happen for you to be aligned to this path. 
the new direction, your new purpose, this, which will give you a new sense of self. You will come through the other side of this tower and find that new way forward. So it feels very beautiful here. And even though you don't see it with that, that cage around you, that you know, you will liberate yourself from this situation. It definitely feels in this energy you will. Let's clarify what this tower is. What is this tower, please, Angel Spirits Guides? For Scorpio, what's this tower? Thank you. Yeah, two of swords. Again, this energy of I don't see. I don't see the way forward, lack of clarity. I don't see how I'm going to move forward with this. It feels like you're losing hope here, Scorpio, I have to say. You know, sometimes this can be about difficult decisions and choices as well. Um, in which case the message is trust your intuition. But it feels in this situation there's a lack of clarity associated with this tower. You know, I don't see the way forward. Well, the clarity is going to come. And that's what Spirit is saying. This is a clarifying energy. This is a visionary energy. So it feels things will become clear. Yeah. So there's definitely an energy. Give yourself time and space. The dust will settle. Things will become clear on how you need to move forward. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. You know, it's that kind of energy. I'm going to clarify this Queen of Cups card of Cancer for me as a reader. Male or female energy. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups for Scorpio, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Cards aren't falling out quickly. Let's just do a couple more shuffles and see if one comes out. What do we have for the Queen of Cups, please? Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. Okay. Now, nope. let's pull one. So the High Priestess, I mean, yeah, the, the Queen of Cups is an intuitive energy. I mean, there's definitely an energy of intuitively, you know how to move forward. Trust your intuition. It's guiding you in the right direction. It will help you find your flow once more. You know, it's that kind of energy, aligning to your soul path, your soul light, that kind of energy. Um, yes, the Queen of Cups can be about love, romance, relationships, Again, there's an energy here of working hard. I mean, some of you could be choosing to work hard at a relationship to get back on track. Um, and in which case that could, that definitely means that you will align to the right path. You know, you will find the way forward. You will find your flow, you know, that kind of energy. Um, it feels as well. The state of pentacles is hard work, working hard at something. So again, I mean, there could be some kind of queen of cups that you are meeting. It can be in a business and commercial sense as well. You know, sometimes I associate her with HR or something along those lines. But, you know, it feels in this situation, Scorpio, I mean, this is the eight of cups, sorry, the eight of pentacles. Somebody who... Um, works hard at what they do and brings increasing financial gain their way. So getting recognized. I mean, you know, you might be going for some kind of job. You might be going for some kind of opportunity. You might be going for some kind of promotion here and you're wanting to get noticed. There's a lot of recognition energy here and there's definitely an energy of getting the recognition that you deserve this week can be in terms of money, career, finances, can be in terms of bringing positive change in terms of value to a relationship by the work you've put into it. So take what resonates for you as always. Um, but it's a great card of small steps bring giant leaps and it is a card of recognition, getting recognition by working hard for the work, for the work that you do, for the talent, the experience you have. 
we have the two of cups here and the two of cups can be it can be in terms of love romance relationships you know if you've been through a difficult time some kind of deep challenge truths revelation even in a relationship there is an opportunity to get back on track to put a difficult situation behind you and re-establish the sense of bond between two people so it feels in this energy for some of you this is about getting back on track in terms of love emerging against once more but again this talent energy as well you know, the Two of Cups can be a bond between two people, kindred spirits, similar outlook, you know, bonding with somebody. This can lead to some kind of exchange, offer, invitation here. Um, and again, it's to do with something that you really want, happiness, joy. So again, there could be some recognition coming your way this week um, that you've been really working hard towards. So it definitely feels in this kind of energy, having gone through some kind of challenge and not having clarity, there's definitely a sense of new hope. Um, stay on the path that you're on, you're going in the right direction, even though you're not clear, you don't have the clarity on how something's going to pan out. The message is just get your head down, keep on doing what you do well, because it is leading to some kind of offer, invitation, opportunity. Um, but yeah, maybe bonding with somebody as well here, Scorpio. Um, this can also be a great reconciliation energy in terms of love, romance, relationships. But it's leading to some kind of new beginning and liberating yourself from some kind of cage or barrier or obstacle that you've been challenged with. Yeah, oh yeah, you see, bottom of this deck, I've got the Two of Cups again. So, like I said... Bond, there's definitely some kind of re-establishment of a bond here, um, emerging once more. That feels very beautiful. Interesting, we have lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us feel real. She can help us find things we never even realized were lost. Yeah, I mean, again, some kind of lost and found energy, maybe in terms of relationships here, Scorpio, um, getting back on track in terms of a relationship. It feels re-establishment of a bond, reconnection, reconciliation is very strong here. But equally, there could be some recognition coming to you this week if it's to do with money and career. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.